Hello, all right, so we are in our final InDesign project and final project for the semester. Uh, this one's a little bit fun. Uh, you'll be incorporating the use of Photoshop as well as Illustrator, depending on your preference, and importing those imagery into a provided template. So this will be available to download on the assignments page as album INDD or InDesign. This is a record layout packaged up to be folded along the spine right here and when opened you can slide out the record in one little slit. So I'm gonna require that you mock it up like this and I'm gonna show you how and give me the entire presentation of the front cover, the back cover, and then the little inside panel. You can have a bit of fun with the inside right and left panel. The record will slide in between this and this sheet when folded, so you won't have to mock up like that. We'll just assume that it's going to slide in and out. So you can have a little bit of fun with the inside panel and decide how you want to present it and the front and back. What I've done is I've made most of my images in Illustrator uh, with a little bit of adjustment in Photoshop. So I have my front image. I've used uh, one of my favorite um, singers, Florence and the Machine. Uh, and I've used a, a, an album she's already made and I've just redesigned it. So this is the front cover. This is the inside. So I've used her image. So I, I've used imagery that I've not made myself, so I'm going to give credit in the comments if I were submitting this design. And then the back cover. So the back cover has the list of titles as well as some design elements. I've also created the spine. So the name of the album as well as Florence and the Machine. And then I'm also creating a little circle for the record to go right here. So little elements. I'm trying to find consistency and unity throughout. So this one, all you're going to need to use InDesign for is for creating your package. So this is a template provided from the printer. If you were to send this off and have them print your album, you would have to align it in a way that they can fold it um, and assemble it so it reads correctly. So let's imp start importing our imagery. So the first thing we'll start off with is our front cover. The best way to go about it is first look at the key up here and understand what these lines mean. So the bleed line, this blue line, means that if you have imagery that goes to the edge, you need to almost make it a little bit bigger, right? So that when they print it and they cut it, you don't get an awkward white line. So you always make your imagery bigger if you're using, uh, an, again, an image that touches the edge. If the image doesn't touch the ed if edges, if there's a border, you don't need to use bleed. The trim line is where it's going to get cut. The safety line is for just in case it gets cut a little off, no valuable information is in this area. So none of your text, none of your titles, or um, important parts of the imagery should be in this area, should sit in the safety. And then this dash line is where the fold is going to occur. So that's important for us when we create our spine. So I'm going to go in here and use my rectangle tool and draw from the fold line and all the way to the blue bleed mark like this and notice the size it's 12.5756 to 12.5189 that size shouldn't be the same as your artboard size here which it is it just only brings it down to two numbers after the decimal point so I've, I'll save this. I'll go in here and go to File, Place with the rectangle selected. Hit Front. 
and there we go. We've simply just go ahead, we've placed it in and it's lined up. You're going to do the same thing throughout. So now to do the spine, I'm going to make sure it goes to the fold line. And I have 0.245 by 12.55. So let me go here, go to my spine. I'm going to just go ahead and rotate it. Go back to its point two four five by twelve point five five. So I'll double check my artboard is the same. So I'm gonna bring it down to point two four five to twelve point five five. And now That lines up. Just need to adjust my color here. And I'm going to hit save. Now I will go to file, place, and I'm going to click spine. And there we go. The only thing that I need to adjust is the placement because I don't want it to sit at the top there. Double click into the image so I can scoot it down to where I want it to line up, right there. If I don't want to see the stroke anymore, I can simply go up here and assign none. Same thing here. If I don't want to see the stroke anymore, I can simply assign none. That just helped me gauge where the image is going to be placed. I'll then do the same thing here. I can simply duplicate this if it's the same size, which it is. And I'll go File, Place. hit back cover and see that my image and make sure it lines up right where I need to line up which it does like so and now I have my front my back and my spine the last thing I'm going to want to do is put my inside panel so again, I'm going to make a nice big shape and I'm going to compare that I have the right size of the bleed all the way up to the fold. So make sure it's, it lines up just right. And that tells me I have 25.39 by 12. Point four five. I'm going to go into Illustrator and open up my inside. Check that I have my width at twelve. Oops, excuse me, twenty five point three nine by twelve point four five. So it just got a little bit bigger, so I have to make some accommodations, some adjustments. that and then make sure my image goes over like so 
and there we go. And then I will go File, Save, go back to my InDesign file, go to File, Place, Inside. It's going to do it this way. But if we notice that if this were folded, the very top would be here. So we need to rotate this by holding shift and simply rotate that. So then when this is the top folded, it will line up. And there we go. If I notice a little error here, which I do right there, I can go into the Illustrator file and change that. This looks like I didn't. move this, put that back in front of it, just added a little bit of masking, just gonna make sure I have my order right, there we go and then I'll hit save. You'll notice that I have this modified double click to update. When I double click that it automatically changes. So any modifications I do in the file, so say we'll do the front and I wanted to make it larger, there's no need to add the image again Say I just wanted to make this slightly bigger. Make sure that's centered. I will hit save. And then again you'll get in your links panel here. So open up your links panel and just double click that and it makes the change automatically. And there we go. We have our setup ready. So now go into your layers panel and remove all the template elements. You can leave the labels if you need, but you can remove the template guides, registration, if you wish. You, like I said, you can keep internal use only and then you'll save this you'll export this as a PDF so go to print you'll type in your first name last name album package save And just hit export. Always preview it. And there you go, you have that. That is what you'll submit online. Make sure, if you notice, I did forget one thing is I forgot to get rid of my little stroke here. So I w that's why you want to preview it. And I also see like this should line up. Make sure everything's lining up to where you need it to be. So I'll just simply go back into the file, click this, remove my stroke, and then make sure that this and this are lining up the way I need them to. Like that, for presentation's sake and then I'll go through and export it again save replace I'll just make sure to uncheck this is from a different class so I'm gonna uncheck all of that so when I preview it it pops up like this is my package design Now, 
you'll export that PDF. You'll also export your mock-up of it. So I simply want to see how it looks three-dimensionally. I will simply need to see the front and back viewing. So you'll notice you'll, you'll have a template that looks like this. This one actually has a little bit of shadowing, so I'm going to actually put a few templates for you to look at. All of these are provided to you for your use, but you need to show me a front and a back view as well as a record view. This template is very easy to use. It's already set up. So first thing, let's actually make this a little bigger so you can read the labels. The cover design, you'll just simply double click. We're in Photoshop now and you're going to place your front image into this. You'll close the window and hit save and it will automatically update your template. It even assigns a little bit of texture and lighting to it. Then also for your record you're going to place your circle. So I just created a circle image, just the pattern I used on the album. You could put the name if you'd like. I kept it rather simple. And you'll close and hit save and it automatically places both files in. Now if you need to make an adjustment, you'll have to correct it and place it back in. Then so you'll just export this. or save it as, you'll just save this as, JPEG, first name, last name, you just do front mockup, oops, frog, <laughs> front mockup. Hit save. You'll do the exact same thing with the back, like here, and again, double click. So you can also play around with the front and the back, so you can decide that this could be a different design. I've just included the same. And then cover design, double click. You're in a new file now that's linked. You'll then do your back cover. Hit OK. You can also go to file place as well save and now you have your design so file save as jpeg you'll just simply write back and submit so you should have three that you wish to submit your front your back, or excuse me, your back, your front, and your package design here. And that's it. So submit the three, and then in the comments section of the, of the assignment, make sure to cite any sources or any images you found that are copyright. Pretty easy, pretty fun. Have some fun with this. Go, go crazy. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.